Hi fellas, welcome to my mini vlog. Today I will be answering the most common question. How did I became an accountant in Dubai? Before anything else, I am Dani, an OFW accountant working and living here in Dubai. Way back 2019, I came here as a fresh graduate. I did not have any work experience in the Philippines and I left my country with a broken heart. I want to take again the CPA licensure exam that time. However, the resources we had will not permit me and the responsibility as the first child in the family needs to be activated. I don't have any choice, but looking back right now, I am grateful. I really am. I thank my mother for pushing me. We went first in Singapore, then I was led here in Dubai. That was another testimony of how God provided for us. Landing my first job was not an easy peasy. Just like any other freshes, I passed my CV 100 times in different platforms. I was interviewed for jobs other than accounting as well. Kung wala ka ng choice, maghahanap ka ng ibang work, mabisahan ka lang. Because of desperation, I tried walk-in. It was tiring, it was so hot, and it was useless. We were still asked to pass our CV in either LinkedIn, Indeed, Byte.com, Nucrigolf, Golf Talent, Dubizel, and many more. I even called companies from the platforms mentioned to book an interview. It was a good move though as well because the hiring manager can see how interested you were. Ang dami. One, two, three, and until countless interviews and efforts until I was recommended by my auntie in the car service industry. I was interviewed and then I passed it and the next day I was offered 2,500 dirhams or 37,500 pesos for a reception com accounts job. That time, I don't have any choice again. My visit visa was about to expire. I need a cash inflow already. I have a rent to pay. I need to buy a food to eat. I need money for transportation. Basically, every move in Dubai is money. I just keep on praying for residence visa. I will just do better next time, sabi ko sa sarili ko. My first company promised that within 6 months, I will get an increment. And I did. Gigil na gigil ako. I continued to review, I continued to study, I continued to do beyond my job description. I spent 2 years with them, from sitting in reception until I get to be the main branch accountant. My last offer in my first company was 5,000 dirhams. It was twice my first offer. Sadly, with all humility, I declined the offer. That's another story to tell. This time, I chose to go instead of staying. During my two months rendering, I was always excited to go home. While I was rendering, I am submitting my CV. I informed my colleagues as well that I am looking for an opportunity. This time, it was easy to book for an interview. In a week, I had three interviews. One in a sports club, one in a car service industry, and one in a travel agency. The offers were almost the same, 4,500 to 5,500 dirhams. Then, I was interviewed again through teams the next week. It was a panel interview. This time, I am talking about my current job. Proverbs 16.3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do and He will establish your plans. Thank you for reaching this part. 